Rubik's Cubes. We got, they have a specific algorithm to solve one face or maybe all of the faces. You can solve this, 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 six faces with only like a couple of algorithms. But still, there's many ways. There's the CFAP, there's the Rooks, there's the ZZ algorithms and ways to solve it. The Rooks is getting this side and this side. I don't really use it. I just I just use the beginner method because that's all I can do. It might actually change to CFAP or maybe Rooks because... CFAP uses a more algorithm base, but then Rooks, it uses uh, mostly, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what it's mostly used for, from, but today we're going to use the beginner method to solve the second and last layers, so let's get started. You may have this problem of having this see these colors they having these colors that are here that and must have must be here that might be a problem but you don't need to worry that much because it just works the same way if it's remove and you place the correct one then you're okay like this see you can place this here so no worry no need to worry the algorithm i'll be using in this video will be in the description below so don't need to worry oh and i will and i will comment down what ideas for you're trying to say i don't know what to say also so let's get started so if you're in the right side of where you can solve it do this and follow my hand movements or just check down this option. now you saw that was simple right that was a simple that was a simple movement but sometimes you have to put those movements fast so yeah I'm not going to talk about that much. That much. So, yeah. So, the if you're happening on the left side, see, green, yellow. This is how you do it. It's the same way, but using the other face. Now you can do it with the rest, like this. If you don't see this when you turn face, then you did it wrong. Many people could get this wrong, but the most time that I had people getting these wrong is in the top. So, even if it doesn't look like it's gonna be like that. Like that. So yeah, let's do that again. And yeah. Okay, we're back. So we're gonna do it again. Blue and yellow. So blue and yellow. So this is the right face. So we got that correct. So now blue and white. Blue, white here. So just do this and this. Now, you're done with that. White and green. White and green. So if you see this movement, like this, you might think that you did it wrong. No, if you see some t the same color as this, it's okay, you can do any movement. You can continue with that movement. But if there's something that's different, like there's a blue except in the green, then you did some you did something wrong. So green 
and yellow, green, yellow. So yeah, now you solve that. Let's figure out now the last layer. Now the last layer has three configurations. The one that you have a simple dot. The one that you have half star and the one you have a straight line. So we're gonna find out all three of them, but only one by one. So if you get the dot first, you do this, this, this algorithm, which will be also in the description below, which will get you the half star, which then I'll show you what it is. So the half star just means what the algorithm does is <coughs> actually take this piece and make this go to the top and then there's another piece that this piece will make it go to the side like this the other piece I don't know where it comes from maybe here so let's show you see it's been replaced now that's like that so let's do that again and yeah okay let's do that again so if you got dot first then you just do this algorithm then when you get this you just do it the same way but you just grab two and then the final co configuration is the one where you get a three line i may have not shown this when the first time so we're gonna do it so just a simple one one face then you got it so yeah now the next step so the next step is the cross layer you see this this is what we need to solve now so this you must find the the color that's already matching with the middle corner so if this corner is matching Find any other that's not matching. It must be not matching for the rest. There's already one that's matching. And if there's like two that's matching like this, then don't do that. But if it's only one thing, then good. So do this algorithm. I'll do it slowly or just check on the description below so all it does is configure the 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 middle pieces and match them around see look this gets out of the way this then it moves this then you turn up then place that there and there you can take an advantage of this if you know where the places are and then do how many turns you like so yeah let's do that again and yeah so remember we need only one one color matching so yeah that's the same way so let's see okay let's just there you go there it's solved so let's get to the next one which is the corners so if if you're lucky enough to get this or this then that's good if you get like these two that are not matching well these are actually matching but I'll show you another one soon when there's one and another one matching then if the other one's matching, then you already know this one's matching also. That means we can do a simple algorithm to solve this. You have to face it down though, so yeah. That might actually make you have time to rotate. So the algorithm will be in the description below, but just a switch algorithm. 
I I know it scrambled the, the two layers, but it's okay. It will be solved when you complete these two. So do not turn it like this. Turn like this. If you do like that, then you're good. Do this. Make sure you turn here. That would be crucial. Let's do it one more time. Then do it one again. Then we're solved. But there's more of this if you get it wrong. So here it is. When you have this problem, where you don't see any single piece correct. Like this, not correct, this. Not correct. This, not correct. This, not correct. So yeah, just to a random fuck. I just wait. Sorry for the mishaps, but if you have this problem where none of the colors are the same, you can just do another. You can do a random piece. Do it once, and you find something that's the same. So, just do that, and check the colors if they're the same. If they are, just do the algorithm I showed earlier. Like this. There you go. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.